All right, guys, ready? Come on, Mike. Yep, I got his right. One. Get his left. Get the left Three. And he's on there. Come on, Mike. Hey guys, Michael Rogelard. Hey. Obviously, he's our sister Lisa's son, and it's been an incredible, incredible Brother. honor to study the Bible with you. I'm super, super excited Come on. about just being a part of your studies. You were Come zealous on. to get in the Bible, zealous to read the Bible. You read like the book of John in like two days. Come on. Yeah, for because real. you wanted to get it done because you wanted to get baptized. You were excited to say the Bible, whether it was like two times a day, whether it was late night, mm -hmm. it was amazing studying the Bible with you. And I'm Amen. super encouraged seeing uh, just how much you desire to walk with God and be a disciple and be redeemed. The scripture that comes to mind is 1 Timothy 4, 12, that says, Do not let anybody look down on you because you're young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, in the purity. And uh, I'm just super excited to be a, a part of your Bible studies and to be your brother soon. Come on. Hi, Mikey. Yeah. Um, I wanted to share a scripture. Um, just says, uh, it's in First um, Peter chapter 3. Uh, at the end of 14 and on it says don't fear what others say they will do to hurt you don't be afraid but make sure that in your hearts you honor Christ as Lord always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks you about the hope you have be ready to give the reason for it but do it gently and with respect live so that you don't have to feel you've done anything wrong some people may say evil things about your good conduct as believers in Christ. If they do, they will be put to shame for speaking like this about you. And I wanted to share that scripture because, um, you know, when you were little, you always had a desire for truth and you always fought for truth. And sometimes... If it wasn't true or right, you'd fight about it. Like, you know, you'd argue about it. Because it was, this is what it is. How could you say it's not this, you know? And, um, you know, God has, like, you know, worked out the kinks over the years. But, um, <clears throat> but um, I wanted to share that because, um, you know, some... I'm sorry. <laughs> um, just... Uh, <laughs> Come on. Uh, just that, like, you know, when you were little, you were the little skeptic, too. Like, are you saying that this God person thing, you know, <laughs> did or created all this stuff? That's what you're telling me. But over the years, <coughs> I've seen you get your own convictions. You have your own faith. Like, you've seen it for yourself and believe the miracles of God. And um, you know, recently you, um, you, your uh, some of the choices that you make have been in question, and like you know, you um, you actually um, were innocent with something. Well, you know, not innocent, but you know, innocent in the accusation of why you you know did what you did, and um, you know, I want I wanted to share that scripture so that you. Um, you know, care about your reputation for the sake of God, not for the sake of yourself. Mm -hmm. But that, um, but that you don't let that shape the faith that you have, and that you stand by the truth, and um, you know, um, even in opposition. So I just, I love you. I'm really super proud of you. You always have the heart of people. You always. You know, love the underdog and want to, you know, like, um, share Come with them. On, so Mikey. that's it, but I'm, I just have some vision for you. Hugs, hugs. 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 Hugs, hugs.
<laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> my little brother. Yeah. My little brother. Yeah. I can say, I can say a lot of things about Mikey. Uh, I can say so much about Mikey. I love this guy. Like I love this guy with all my heart. And the way we were raised, like, because my parents, we said they separated. Like when we were, my little brother was even younger than me, but I was like probably 13, 12 years old. I pretty much was my old little brother, the only like man figure to look up to in the house. Mm. So this is like it's my little brother, but like I feel like I raised him a little bit, like in a sense. Come on. I see a lot of me in him. A lot of my terrible, terrible qualities and my good qualities <laughs> are in him. And I love him so much. He's he's always been so smart and like he knows like what's right. He he wants to do what's right for him, but I just think that. It's he's led himself to this point. Like I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, he knows what he wants and he knows what's right. And mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what he does; he's genuine in it. Oh. Yeah. So when he sees something, he sees a problem, he wants to fix it. And I think that he, you know, he chose this, and I'm really inspired and happy. Yeah. About it. Yeah. And one thing I'll say is that, like, even when he was younger, when I first got baptized. My little brother, he was always talking to me and challenging me. And he would be like, oh, this is wrong, this is right. Like, why, how, if you're a disciple, why are you doing this? Ooh, I don't see this guy sure doing this guy. And it would like kill me, I'd be like, oh wow. Yeah, you're right, I time to repent now. And my little brother is like, call me the sander, but now, once you're baptized, I'm gonna have to do the same thing to you. So, give us the opportunity for us to get each other better. And I love my little brother. I know he's gonna do what's right. If we now want forever, you know he's Amen. gonna be genuine because he's always been like that since he was young. Amen. And I just love you so much. Amen. All right, Mikey. You up. Come on, Mikey. Um. It's on. Um. Um. I don't even. No, like. <laughs> Just talk from your heart. Say, say everything. So, in the beginning. <laughs> like. Come on, Mike, get your ass done. So what? Whenever I first started studying the Bible, like. Like my first study, the Seeking God study, I wasn't like really like. Well. Like that. It was a. <laughs> okay. But I wasn't like really that much into it. I was just like, oh yeah, I'll do this study. It's not like really that big of a deal. But then after we finished it, like, it was like, I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to do more studies. Awesome. So then like, I kept like, whenever I saw him, I would go up and I would be like, um, can I do, a, can I do the next study and stuff? So then we did the next study. And then every single day we did the next study. So. And two studies. <laughs> and and then how he said about the whole reading the whole book of John in two days. That's awesome. Yep, that's awesome. What about God? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that. that's good. Well, cool, awesome. Amen. <laughs> so, oh I have two questions for you. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? That he came to earth, led a sinless life, and died for your sins on the cross, and then rose from the dead. Yes. Awesome! Yeah. I'm glad you believe that. My next question, what is your good confession? Jesus is Lord. Yeah. Awesome. Well, because your good confession can now baptize you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you'll be added to God's kingdom, you'll receive the forgiveness of sins, the gift of the Holy Spirit, and you'll be a disciple. Amen. All right, guys, ready? Come on, Mikey. Yep, I got his right. Get his left. Get the left one. Three. And he's on there. Come on, Mikey! Yeah! Hey, good job. Oh, my brother! Oh, my brother. Oh, my brother.